Krisha, we've been following this for some time, and the testimony was quite, quite compelling. Your reaction? It's so unfortunate that these brave people who have come forward have been treated yeah. like this. Um, it is absolutely incredulous, and especially with uh, what's been going on in terms of them, them losing their homes, um, their finances. They're basically homeless. But what we really have to do here is look at um, what Jim Jordan said in terms of defunding the FBI. It's absolutely necessary, and we must hold the Democrats and those at the top to account, specifically um, those like Adam Schiff. I mean, really, we need to um, and hold them accountable. And ultimately, uh, there are articles of impeachment set up. We, we need to basically make sure that these people who are the architects of all of this Russia impeachment, it, they, they need to, to go. Yeah, I mean, Mitch, I, I think we're going to see some real change at the FBI if the Republicans uh, keep this up, because you're going to see a total revamp. Uh, I, I mean, after the Russia collusion hoax where the FBI pursued all of those warrants to spy on Trump officials uh, with no basis whatsoever, uh, sitting on the Biden laptop throughout an impeachment for President Trump. Uh, so much more. They've been sitting on an investigation of Hunter Biden now for six years doing nothing. They completely had no effort whatsoever to investigate Hillary Clinton, even though there were claims that she was doing what Joe Biden was doing, taking money for the Clinton Foundation. And yet they pursued an investigation of Trump because they did not like him. They did not want him there. And, and the thing that really disturbs me in the Durham report is that here we have all of these uh, improvements that Chris Ray made uh, to the FBI. And it, to your point, Maria, notwithstanding that, they sat on the, Biden, the Hunter Biden laptop prior to the 2020 general election. So the weaponization of this institution that should, you know, instill public trust, what's happening is quite the opposite. And I think the average voter, unless they're watching uh, this network and our companion network, Fox News, they're not hearing these stories. They don't know that the FBI is this political organization that, you know, advances the agenda of the Democrat Party and helps candidates. And that's the thing that's very, very disturbing. I mean, right. And that, uh, uh, yeah, you're right. And that's partly because the media is complicit, mm -hmm. Mitch. Yep. A hundred percent. And if you just look at the, the Twitter files, the back and forth before the that's 2020 right. election between uh, people in high levels of Twitter, people in, in, in counterintelligence, people at the FBI. I mean, it's absolutely appalling that yeah. th this kind of linkage exists. Yeah, it's unbelievable to me, Krisha, that, you know, the media can keep this up and not recognize the threats that this creates for our country. I mean, the rest of the world is watching this as well. And it's uh, it's really disturbing. It's completely disturbing. And not only is the media not watching, they're actually being rewarded for publishing misinformation. We saw that with the Washington Post, uh, the New York Times. I mean, they're getting Pulitzer Prizes for their false reporting. When are they ever going to take that back? I mean, at this point, it's far gone. Um, but Pulitzers should be revoked. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> unbelievable that there's no accountability whatsoever. I'm going to be speaking with one